five minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter, trailing 27 to zero, but knocking on the door here as the Herons come back to the line of scrimmage. They call another quarterback. Keep it up. Touchdown. Touchdown, Harris. Harris is going to call for the snap. He's taking it. Looks deep over the middle. Sixty-nine yards. Jameson Williams, what a fantastic run after the catch. Blue County defenders collided into Williams, keeps his feet, and takes it to the house. Big play, Brown. Big play for Jameson Williams, number 21, on third and 28. Not only gets the conversion, but the touchdown. One minute and 49 seconds remaining in the third quarter here in trail 35 to 13 as they come out now to try the extra point. They're going to be in a four wide receiver set. Send number one, Ryan Blunt, in motion to the right side. Harris takes the snap, and he's looking to the end zone. It's Blunt. Can he look at it? Oh, what a great play by number eight, Tyler Harris. The number one, Ryan Blunt, 20-yard touchdown, Bradley County. That was perfectly played. Harris is going to send number one blunt in motion. They'll fake the handoff and throw it quickly to the outside. Number five, he takes it. He keeps one man. He's got the inside. He can get there. One man with the angle. They will not make it. Touchdown, Bradley County. He's going to take the snap. He's looking to throw. He's going to throw it deep. Number 21, Jameson. Five, open, and nobody will catch it. Touchdown, Bradley County. A great work by the Brantley County Herons on defense to open this game after Pierce County chooses to receive. The Herons have held them to three and out. Ten minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the first quarter in Pierce County in punt formation. Back deep to receive for the Brantley County Herons is going to be number five, E.J. Thomas. Kicking for the Bears. Looks like... High formation. Number 35, Brandon Unison. Fullback. He leads the block for number three. Dot out of that Touchdown, Don Trill. It is fourth down, Brantley County. Now they're going to try to spread them out. Four wide receivers, one man in the backfield. Number eight, Tyler Harris under center, though. It's a quarterback sneak, no question about it. He's going to try to effort, got it. Boy, he did not get it on the first effort, but absolutely a great job by driving those feet. Look at him fired up. He comes out of the huddle, and he's got the crowd on their feet, too. He is asking for some. Support from these home fans, and he's getting it. Right, they're going to spread it out a little bit more now with two wide receivers. And they're trying to avoid oh, Number eight fumbles it. Look out, Alice. They pick it up on the run. Number three, Dunsville. Lucas still on the seat. And there is nothing but grass and opportunity between Lucas and the end zone. Touchdown, Brantley County. Number 21, James Williams in motion to the left. But they're running to the right with Lucas. Can he get to the pylon? Uh, he's running. He will go the entire touch. Number three, Dunsville. Lucas. Touchdown, Brantley County. Shortly after an impressive October sunset in Caney Bay on Friday, October 9th, 2010, the Brantley County Herons prepare to host the Battle Creek Warriors of Tattnall County in a Region 2 AA matchup. But first, it was recreation night, and hundreds of future Brantley County Herons lined the field in their Recreation League football and cheerleading uniforms. On to the action now. The Herons received the opening kickoff and almost stalled out early on. On fourth down and six yards to go, number two, Devin Blankenship in a shotgun formation takes the snap and throws downfield to number five, E.J. Thomas, who makes a great catch and almost gets into the end zone. He'd be marked out of bounds on the four-yard line, but Blankenship would punch it in a few plays later on a quarterback sneak behind the blocking of number 54, Taryn Parrish. Number 16, Leonard Kleinworth's kick was good, and the Herons took a 7-0 lead with five minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. On the next possession, number nine, Chevy Middleton shoots past the blocking to get the tackle for a loss, and the Herons' defense would hold Tattnall County scoreless through the first quarter. Opening play of the second quarter, though, and Tattnall County's quarterback number three, Quayshawn Davis, getting the job done with his feet. It's a 21-yard quarterback draw for a touchdown. The extra point was good, so Tattnall County tied the game at seven, just eight seconds into the quarter. Later in the second now, following a missed Heron field goal, the Warriors took over on their own six-yard line and drove it out across midfield before Davis shows off some more footwork, going straight through the heart of the Brantley County defense for 45 yards and the score. 
following the extra point, the Warriors took the lead 14-7 with 3-11 remaining in the first half and they were not finished. After the Herons went three and out, the Warriors got the ball back and had driven to the Brantley County 30-yard line before Davis again drops back and this time shows off his arm. It's a Hail Mary pass and catch down the right sideline to number eight, Chaz Kicklider. The extra point would give Tattnall County a 21-7 lead to feel good about during halftime. After the break, the Warriors with the ball, number 24, Nick Overton, starts right, cuts back left, and kicks it into gear for a 49-yard gain down to the Heron six-yard line. A holding penalty on the next play would put the Warriors back up 10 yards, but that was no problem for Davis, who escaped to the outside on the next play and dashed 16 yards for his third rushing touchdown of the night. The point after gave Tattnall County a 28-7 lead with 9.30 left to go in the third quarter, and a lot of teams may have given up right there. But the Herons, they were not finished. On their next possession, they flew down the field before Blankenship dropped back to find number 15, Garrick Jackson, on this 14-yard touchdown throw. The kick by Kleinworth was good, and the Herons trailed only 28-14 with 4.47 to go in the third. Tattnall County was just a little too much, though. On the next possession, the Warriors drove the ball into Heron territory before Overton takes this hand off, and he's off to the races again for a 44-yard touchdown run. The extra point is no good, but the play gives Tattnall County a 20-point lead with just 2.33 remaining in the third quarter. A few minutes later, though, the Heron offense desperately trying to get back in the game gives the fans one of the best highlights so far this season. With first and 10 on the Tattnall 44-yard line, Blankenship sets up in the shotgun with five receivers. He takes the snap and fires a prayer downfield to number 21, Jamison Williams, who makes a circus catch off of the deflection by the defensive back. Let's see that again. The ball is behind Williams, and he shows off the athletic ability to reach back for it and still get his left foot just inside the pylon for the touchdown. The kick is no good, but the score sits at 34 to 20 with Tattnall County going into the final period. With 6.26 to go in the game, the Herons had a long shot. Fourth down and 24 yards to go. Blankenship tosses one deep toward the end zone, but this time Tattnall County picks it off and that would end the Herons' hopes. Tattnall County remains undefeated in Region 2 AA, five and one overall on the season, while the Herons fall to two and four on the year, one and two within the region. Thank you.